body bags were whore lies. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, welcome to Monday's edition of Body Bags. Um, today, I'm going to review a film that everybody has heard of, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Wither. Uh, I just received this in the mail today and um, I wanted to watch a film before I did a review so I just watched this one. Um, basically uh, Wither is a Swedish film. It's about a couple um, named Albin and Ida or Ida. It's pronounced Ida in the film. They want to have like a kind of I guess like a little getaway for the weekend. Um, Albin's uh, parents own an old home that they haven't been to in years and uh, gave them permission to, you know, go stay there for the weekend. Uh, Albin and Ida want to bring, Ida, I'm sorry, want to bring uh, some of their friends along so they can, you know, have a good weekend and have a real good time. Um, it's uh, a total of six people all together. There's, uh, is it six? No, sorry. It's a total of seven. There's uh, four women and uh, three guys. Uh, they travel to this house, um, and then when they get there, they realize that the doors are locked and they have no keys to get inside. But um, one of the friends, I believe his name was Marcos, he uh, found a way in through a back window, and um, he talks to this one girl named Marie to uh, go inside the house and basically uh, try to startle everybody else when they're trying to get into the house by opening the door from the inside and just give them a little scare, a little practical joke. So, you know, Marie does. Uh, she decides, she goes inside the house and um, she's looking around and she happens to come across a little cellar door um, she does find a candle to help her see inside the house, but she finds this little cellar door and um, she opens it up and goes down inside to investigate. Um, something kind of, th there's going to be spoilers in this, guys, but I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. Uh, something kind of takes over her body, uh, a type of demon. And then, basically, you, you go from there. Um, it starts right away. I mean, immediately when they get to the house, this is when st stuff starts to happen. Of course, uh, the demon takes over Marie's body, and then she attacks some of her friends, and so on and so forth. Um, I can honestly see why this was kind of compared to Evil Dead, because it does have similarities to it. Um, I will say that it has some decent gore in the film. I did enjoy the film, but I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to enjoy it. Um, I didn't care too much for the acting, and one of my one of my gripes about this film is the fact that once this stuff starts happening, you would think that all the other friends would be a little bit more panic stricken. Because I sure as hell know I would. Um, I wouldn't stay at the house. I'd get the hell out of the house. Uh, whatever. It's obvious that my friend is possessed. I mean, you could see it in their eyes. Just, I would, I would just, I'd get the fuck out. Uh, run to my car and head for the hills. Um, but there, it, 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 I don't know. It, it had, does have some flaws. <clears throat> um, of course, they do end up meeting some guy with a rifle, uh, there's a little backstory of what happened to him and his family. He tells them the story and basically tells them, um, you know, you can't let any blood get on, you can't get scratched, you can't get bit, or you become one. Now, if you kind of watch the backstory, it only involved his wife and his daughter. And um, how he came to the conclusion as to whether or not if blood gets on you, it'll turn you, I have no idea. It doesn't really kind of explain that too much. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it does deliver the gore. I will say that. The acting, like I said, is not too great. Um, 
and they should have been a little bit more panic stricken because I sure as hell would have been a whole hell of a lot more scared. Um, but it's okay. It's not bad. It's definitely worth having in your collection. Um, I'm glad to have it. I thought it was cool. Um, it was a decent watch. I'd probably, um, I'd give it a two and a half out of five. Uh, I liked it for the gore. Uh, not so much for the story because it's not original. Um, it is almost like a Swedish take on Evil Dead. And uh, the acting is not that great. Uh, there's a few people in it that are decent actors, but... And I, I don't know, I didn't really like the way the demons look too much. Uh, they all basically kind of look the same. Um, you almost, with the women, you almost couldn't tell the difference of which woman was which, but... Um, uh, like I said, I give it a two and a half out of five. Uh, it gets half a score because it has great gore, and then the other half is bad acting and not an original storyline. So, uh, sorry if I disappointed anybody that likes this film. Like I said, I do like it. I just don't like it as much as I thought I should. Um, but I still am happy to have it in my collection. But, yeah, that's my review for you guys on uh, Wither. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Deuces.